Friday again, and I'll let you guess where we're gonna go. Savers, we're gonna hit it up. Uh, we have a bunch of postage that needs to go out. We've got a couple bags there, which is really nice for a Thursday night. This week, we're gonna hit as many op shops as we can and try and get a lot of stock. Ooh. Let go. I can't believe what we just found in that savers. We found these three vintage, there's the old tag, kangaroos. That's a long sleeve like jumper. This is a shirt on the uh, old logo as well, $2.99 for that. And this long sleeve as well on the same tag and that one was $5. So that is an insane find, look at this. So Jazzy's getting some listings up. There's one of the weeds we picked up yesterday. We actually got two, which was quite nice, 30 bucks each. We're just lotting them up to uh, make a little bit more value out of them. How are you going with that? Oh uh, yeah, semi-successful, looks all right. And then we have all this other stuff that we picked up yesterday. I've drafted up all this clothing on the top here. So nice little Sesame Street Uniqlo here. Nice little Katmandu, Hallie Hansen, nice little pickup. Ooh, Adidas Originals here. Pretty basic, but should do all right. Got the global uh, WWE from 2002 Global Warning Tour. I uh, just picked up this nice sports craft new with tags. Uh, nice foot joy, long sleeve. Should do okay with that one as well. Uh, here is the North Melbourne stuff. So this is all the vintage gear. We're actually going to put this up on auction because that is quite hot. And we think it's going to do a bit better. So I've talked to Judder and he reckons uh, start them at some interesting prices. So we'll see how those three items go. Nice little Polly Ralph Lauren here, Yachting Club, should do all right. Uh, we picked up this Woolwich, that was the other week. Under Armour last week as well, these are all just ready to draft. We've got a Tokyo Disneyland here as well. Another Katmandu, always do quite well Katmandu, usually about 50 bucks. Also picked up some really good jeans yesterday, these pair of newer tags, Wrangler Boy Cowboy Cut. Uh, Jazzy picked up this pair of Black Milk, what are they called again? Daily Profit. Daily Profit apparently. Duh. Some nice RM Williams, a pair of nudies, and another pair of RM Williams. We also picked up this New York Mets baseball um, button up. I found another Mars. I was going to show. Found another Mars leather motorbike jacket. That one was 50, but I think we'll sell it well. New brand for us. We're trying this one out. I'm not sure if that's going to show on camera, but it says Majestic Filiches. Uh, a nice little Canterbury jacket and a Kathmandu. So we're trying to get ahead and have like tomorrow's listings ready to go. And um, yeah, we'll just keep pottering on. Pottering. All right, we have just finished the picking video from the weekend. Jazzy's getting some of the postage ready for tonight. And I'm gonna list up some more stuff for tomorrow. We're already ahead of where we need to be, which is great. I love that. What is wrong with Just catching up with some Tommy and Tracy while I get some stuff ready to draft. So we still got some stuff left over from that big deal we did locally not long ago. A few hats left there, a couple pairs of shoes, more ink. So we'll try and get that stuff drafted up and have it ready for Monday. Okay, we've had a pretty solid weekend so far. So I think Friday we did about $1,300, which is that one there. Saturday we did 1000 and we're off to a good start today with uh, 619 so far. It's only one o'clock. It fits. <laughs> Just. <laughs> hey guys, it is Monday morning and we have a bunch of posts to get out, like 50 something orders over the weekend, mm -hmm. which is great. Very, very busy weekend. Really high value as well, which is fantastic. We work on the weekends. Yeah, it's like almost lunchtime, so we're getting out a little bit late today, but we did some listing this morning, got the rest of our parcels ready. And we don't really want to hit op shops too early in the morning on Monday because we feel like they've been cleaned out over the weekend. <laughs> so we're just waiting for them to get a little bit more stock back in. But before we get started, I just want to say like to all you guys in lockdown, we really hope you're doing okay. Um, we sort of like toss up if we should be putting out videos in this time because we don't want to be like showing off that we have stuff open and you guys don't. But we hope that the videos sort of give you a little bit of a sort of fill that itch, I guess, to go out op shopping. Yeah, so, hopefully enjoyable. Yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying us going out and finding stuff so let's head out now and get some stuff to sell on eBay let's go got a brand new salvos here hey, check this out. Thank you. 
Morning guys, Tuesday now. Uh, we are about to head down south with Kara to hit up a heap of shops. So we'll take <laughs> you guys along. We're just doing some packaging for and today. I'm hoping this is protected enough. It should be fine. Yeah. Also, check out Jazzy's new jumper that she picked up yesterday from Salvos. Got it at the op shop. It's very <laughs> cool. So we'll take you guys along. Hopefully, we find some awesome stuff to sell on eBay today. Yeah. We listed all the stuff we got yesterday. Yeah. And are ready to go. So let's <laughs> Machine. go. Machine. Okay. Now I believe it. We just sold that TMNT set for five hundred and forty-nine dollars. So keep your eye out for Ninja Turtles Fast Forward. Apparently, it is a crazy set. So Jazzy just hit something pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we snagged all these street sharks for Best like... Best ever street sharks. A dollar each, which is insane. What are the wheels. Wheels. Yeah. First time ever finding street sharks. Okay, show us the gold. I can't believe this was $12. Woo! NHL, uh, Phoenix Coyotes apparently. I don't really know the team, but 12 bucks. I'm picking that up every day of the week. Looks wicked. Crazy. Wednesday today guys and we're pretty much doing a full day of listing and drafting get all the stuff we picked up on our south trip yesterday we got a heaps of stuff about 38 39 items I think all up jeans jackets shirts uh, obviously those street sharks that Jazzy picked up so Jazzy is currently doing some listing uh, getting some <laughs> stuff up this is some uh, animals books that we picked up hardcover that's Heck pretty yeah. nice uh, I've drafted all these jeans here so some nice diesels another pair of RMs we always grab those pair of 503s, we usually don't find them for a good price, but they were okay. Uh, we got these RMT for five bucks, and some Rod and Gun, I think they were three, and a nice pair of Carhartt, which we don't see very often for three bucks as well. Jazzy picked up this really cool Disneyland Resort uh, bag, and a nice pair of Merrells. I've also got a heap in the lounge room, which I'll show you guys now. Super quick look at some of the shirts and that we picked up yesterday. Just a nice little Brook Brothers long sleeve. We only paid a dollar for that. Usually we don't pick up Brooks Brothers because it's sort of like a $35 usual price. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. This was an insane find, this NHL Phoenix Coyotes um, jersey, which is insane. Now this was 12 bucks, I think, but comps on that are looking crazy. Should get over a hundred bucks on that in very good condition. Check out the back on this thing. If anyone knows this player, let me know. I'm not even going to try and say that, but look at that Adidas logo. Super cool. Uh, Jazzy picked up this G-Star jacket for $13, I think. $13.50. Katmandu, we're always picking these up. We usually sell these for $50 all day long, so don't mind paying up for those. And this little piece is a little Joseph Ripkoff. Now, we wouldn't know this without Kara. Um, this print here should do quite well. Nine bucks paid for that, but that should flip quite quickly. I also picked up all these little PlayStation books from like the 2000s. So this is like PS1 era. Um, so I've got like 10 of these different books. Now these were two bucks each, but I just really wanted to pick them up for the nostalgic factor. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them or lot them up and try and sell them as a lot. Some of these are going for sort of 18 to 20 bucks each. So, you know, this, there is a little bit of money there, but it was just the fact that they were so cool and all together. So today we're just going to get listing, make sure we get those drafts up, probably try and get all this stuff listed. So tomorrow we can go out, we do have a deal to go pick up tomorrow from one of our local op shops. So we'll take you guys along to that and uh, hopefully there's some awesome stuff in there. So let's get listing. Good morning guys, it is now Thursday and we have two awesome gaming deals to go pick up today. So we're going to take you guys along to those and you guys need to let us know which one you think is actually better. I have one in my head which I think is gonna make us more money, but I want you guys to let us know as well. But before we head out, I just wanna show you a goal that we just absolutely smashed. So only a couple of days ago on Instagram, we posted that we had just passed 77,500. Well, last night, we just ticked over $80,000, which is huge. I never actually thought that that was going to be possible. So it's fantastic to see those numbers going up now that we're both full time. Obviously we're putting in a lot of work, listing a lot of really good quality items. 
ending and selling similar to get some older stock out the door as well. So all those little things are paying off, which is great to see. Hopefully it continues. Obviously it's tax time, so that's probably helping the numbers a little bit, but 80K in 90 days is amazing. And uh, it just goes to show you put the work in and it will come back to you. So let's head out and get those gaming deals right now. But first we need to have a coffee and thanks to Michael and Tom for buying us coffee this week. We really appreciate it. Obviously we never expect it. Uh, pretty good, a little stop there. Nice. All right, so we just picked up two lots of gaming gear and we want you guys to help us out and work out which is the better deal. So on the left, we pay $80 for all this stuff here. And on the right, we paid $250 for all this stuff here. So we'll call this one A and we'll call this one B. And you guys let us know which one is gonna make us more money. So let's pull some stuff out and have a look at what we got. Okay, so box A, which is $250. We've got like a Wii stand, which is probably not worth much. Little Sony mic, good old Nintendo 64 there. Uh, controller, not too bad little stick. Sony PlayStation 2 root controller. It's just a power cord. This looks like a power cord box. Another controller. These have actually been doing all right for us, these little budgets. We've been selling these for like $39 for the set. Uh, go with SingStar. Couple third party remotes. Another PS2 controller. Third party. That's another PS2, that one's pretty broken, so that's pretty no good. More buzz. Looks like that's all in there. I don't know if this is going to be worth anything, but it seems like it's a Tony Hawk ride controller for Xbox, I believe. Let's get into some of these games. We've got a PS2 that's actually NTSC, Crazy Mini Golf for Wii, Hannah Montana, Hotel Dogs, little joystick there, Quick Shot, pretty cool. Some loose games. These looks like they might actually be burnt, so they're probably worth nothing. Make sure there's no good ones in there. No, they're all burnt, I reckon. Well, there's a couple at the back there, but no good. Oh, we got some PS1 games here. That's pretty cool. Mary Kate and Ashley, not worth a lot. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 should do all right. Big Bass Fishing. Inspector Gadget, which I just threw away. These are all like, that came with gab magazines, like demos. Might do all right. What's we got here? Uh, Mary Kate and Ashley Winner's Circle. Another burnt game. Little Nintendo case. Feels like it's got something in it, which would be cool. Oh, yeah, we've got Madagascar, Harry Potter, and Emperor's New Groove, Planet of the Apes, Fast Food Panic, which probably isn't worth, worth a lot. I can't even read that. Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer. I don't even know what that one is. Super Duper Sumo, that looks like NTSC as well. Imagine and Kingdom of Hearts, that one might be okay. So we'll look into those, so that's pretty good. Oh, there's a couple of bits and pieces in here. Game Boy Wireless Adapter and a little handheld here as well. Little Sega handheld, that's pretty cool. Uh, looks like we've got some more loose games here. I don't know if there's any in here that are worth any money. Thomas and Friends. Oh, there's like double sided, so we'll make sure we check these over before we presume there's nothing in there. But we usually don't do real well with loose stuff, so there's quite a few in there actually. Worth a look. Uh, we've got Skate 3. We've got a DS game, a little cheat code, another DS game, Disney Jonas. A little, uh, this is like one of those um, reproduction Mega Drives with all the games on it, so that might do quite well. Oh, a couple of little DS's here. We'll have to make sure they work, obviously. Some damage to them, but we've sold these even damaged for, before for like 50 to 60 bucks, not working, so have to clean that out. Let's see here. I think. A uh, little N64 Game Boy uh, holder, so you could play your Game Boy games on N64. 
title match for Activision. It's pretty cool. Pro Wrestling. You need the Queen. Bunch of games. Uh, nothing's really standing out to me as super valuable in there. Um, what do we got? Crazy Taxi might do alright. Nothing really good. We'll obviously comp all those out and make sure there's nothing very worthwhile in there. Alright, so this is where I thought the money was um, on the consoles. So, we've got an Xbox 360. Obviously, we're going to have to test all the stuff to make sure it works. We've got an Xbox original. Even if these are broken, we can sell them. We have been selling stuff. Uh, someone's sticking up an old uh, PlayStation there, so quite good. We'll have to clean that one up. Another PlayStation. I don't even know what that is. It's like a Raspberry Pi or something. Oh, it's a little game. It's pretty cool. I thought it was like one of those Raspberry Pi's. Uh, Xbox controller. Got a PS2 Fat. We'll have to make sure that works. I think that's for like Disney Infinity, that one. More controllers. More controllers. A little Xbox one there. Looks like it's a third party. PlayStation, another Xbox controller. All cords. So yeah, I think we should make our money back on that pretty easily with the consoles. And everything else we profit. So happy with that one. Okay, B. This is the one we paid $80 for. So we got a Sony PS1 with all the cords and the controller. So that's probably our 80 bucks back pretty much right there. So that's a good start. And we've got a bunch of games, some PS1s, Rugrats, Spyro 2, if that's in good condition, that should do okay. Yeah, it's good. Uh, Quack Attack and Sorcerer's Maze. I don't think I've played that. A SpongeBob, pretty cool. A bunch of PS games here. We've got a Harry Potter, I'm not sure if that one's going to make it out of the house with uh, Jazzy around, that one as well. Let's get some basic games, Pirates of the Caribbean, we we'll probably end up loading that set up, 20, 30 bucks, something like that. Some nice PS2 games, we've got Crash, that'll do alright, Assassin's Creed, Minecraft, uh, EB Games, Cased, uh, PlayStation All Stars. We've got Epic Mini 2, Little Big Planets. Skate 3 again, Grand Turismo 5, and call out all of Judy Black Ops. Bunch more games here. We've got Midnight uh, Mod Nation Races, Indiana Jones 2, Halo 5, Call of Duty, Halo 4, Grand Theft Auto, Mercenaries 2, Adventure Time, Driver, Lego Super Mario, Super Heroes. And it looks like a disc to a Canon like camera or something. Next up we've got this uh, steering wheel. It looks like it's brand new. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to get out of that. Um, there you go, wireless racing wheel. Not sure for what console, I'm assuming. Ah, oh, there we go, Xbox. Check that one. And we've got some more games over here as well. Pull cool, these out. Start here. Star Wars, GTA 3, Star Wars Racer. I don't think I've ever seen that one. I have to look that one up. Uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. It looks like a, yeah, it is a um, Sonic. Price Caribbean, Resident Evil, Wii Sports always does well. About 20 bucks there if it's all in there. Good condition, yep. Desert Storm, Smackdown, Futurama, Mega Racer 3, and War of the Monsters. We've got a couple of Wii games, a one Wii game. We've got Sports Party, Medal of Honor, a couple of loose games there. I'm going to check those out. A couple of Xbox games. We move over here. We've got Pro Fishing, tennis game. Oh no, that's uh, rugby, sorry. We've got uh, Conflict Global Storm, Tiger Woods. Halo 2 by the looks of that. That case is ratted, but. Soccer, another soccer. Need to speed most wanted. There's another Halo. One's better, a little bit better condition. Ricky Pony. We actually sold this game overseas like last week for like $30, I think. Tony Hawk's Press Skater 4. Crash again, always goes well. Crash V8 Supercars. 
Some of the V8 supercars ones actually do quite well overseas because they didn't get released overseas. So I'm not sure on that one in particular, but keep an eye out for those. Crimson Shield, SX Tricky, and Poker. So that's our two gaming halls. So let us know if you think A or you think B is the better deal. I personally think B is probably gonna make us more money. Uh, depending on if the consoles work in A, we might make some good money there as well. But um, it's been a crazy week. We've had some crazy pickups. You picked up the Street Sharks, which yeah, is amazing. I, <laughs> I picked up those uh, North Melbourne uh, vintage tees and, and long sleeves. And Adidas jersey. Adidas jersey as well. So Really good sourcing week. Let us know what you think the best find of this week was. And uh, we will see you next week on Toysie Thrifters. Bye for now. But this is happening. Please don't crash. We're gonna have to get like one of Judd's helmets. So you, you I know. need elbow pads, I need knee pads. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I've not figured out turning.